All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have the first video since we have applied the five sealants to this test panel. So this is going to be the slickness test and the first rinse so we can get the initial water behavior just so that we can base off all of these in the future as we wash it week in, week out. And as it sits outside in the sun, in the wind, in the rain, getting covered in bird droppings, dust, dirt, whatever happens to come in contact. So yeah, this we what I do at the end of the video is I generally look back at this video and I look back at about the two to three week video to sort of base off how good the products lasted. So yeah, this one, we will be testing the slickness as well, but first let's just go over the five products we have applied. So we have, this is in order as on the panel, by the way, as well. So we have G-Technics C2 V3. So one that was very highly recommended to me. And since I announced this test, a lot of people have said this one will impress me so far. Um, yeah, really liking it, super slick. And yeah, it was easy to apply. Um, next up, we have our current sort of winner of these series so far. It's uh, taken out quite a few products, this one. Very impressive for the price. And yeah, I really like this stuff. So let's see how it does again against this competition, uh, Bowden's own bead machine. Then we have Lithium's Ceramic Slam. Now this one, I have heard a lot of good things about um, from other people's tests that I have sort of watched, mainly one that I've watched and a few written tests that I've seen, like people just comparing sealants in online forums and stuff. This stuff was very durable from what I've seen, so I'm keen um, to see how it does. Also, pretty impressed so far. And we have another Australian one. So we've got the two Australians this time, Bowden's and Merch. So this one is Merch Bead King. Now I have used this one previously, I've done a car with it, and I can say it's super slick, easy to use. Um, it made the paint really, really look good, but that was just one car with one sealant. So be keen to see how it does against the competition, as always. And lastly, we have IGL's Premier. So this one's probably my most requested since I started doing these tests. So yeah, we've got this little sample bottle. Big shout out to the subscriber that sent this one out to me, by the way, to test. So those are the five products. Um, so normally, what I did with the wax test is I did a bit of a sort of which one looked better, I guess. Um, I have gone over these all with the light. Um, I can't see a difference if I'm completely honest. Uh, they all, obviously the panel being freshly polished, um, it already looks great. It is, as you can see, really nice um, paint color. It has a lot of metallic in it. So when we move on to, you know, any of the sections, I can't see a big difference. So. Okay, sorry guys, I'm gonna jump back in because I have just finished filming this and after drying and removing the tape, getting ready to lift this to take it outside, um, when removing the tape, I can clearly see there is one that looks better. I'm not gonna say better so much because I've left it a little bit smeary, if I'm honest. But, I mean, as I'm moving over, I'm sure you guys can actually see one of those has gone a lot darker. It kind of looks weird through the camera, but in person, that Merch Bead King has made that paint so much darker. So it's very similar to the Art to Shine um, graphene wax where there was a clear difference. They all, so I can actually, I will say, sorry, before I get too far into that, I can actually see going from where the tape was to the product. It's harder to see in camera, but I can see they've all added a little bit of darkening. They've all added a little bit of depth to the paint. And yeah, sorry, I really should stop using cheap tape because it's leaving glue residue in the tape line there, but they all are noticeably a little bit different. But that merch, and I'll say it's a little bit smeary because in like the corners where the tape was, obviously I didn't wipe enough because I was trying not to like wipe into the next section. So all around the edges, it's a little bit smeary, um, but you wouldn't have that issue if you were applying it to a whole car because you wouldn't be carefully trying to just buff this little section here. You would be just going over the whole thing. Um, but that, I'm sure you guys can see it through the camera. Yep, so it looks, going to the merch. Slickness in my end results, rather than talking about looks, unless it changes after sitting in the sun and I can see a difference, what I'm actually going to do instead is maybe
put the slickness test as one of the um, criteria that we judge on. So I've got my five CarPro ceramic applicator blocks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them all onto each product. So I've actually already played around testing with this and I already know the results because I did test it. So you can see that I didn't put two of those down. Um, that is because those two are the slickest. As soon as I put the block down on one of them, which you'll see here, the merch, it just runs off. So you can see none of the other ones are doing that. That one is clearly the slickest and it's even my I'll sit that on the tape so it doesn't move. And then also the G-Technic, to a lesser extent, also won't stick. It will just keep gliding along. So even, okay, so let's put that one down there first. See this one here, you can see they're both moving, but the Merch, clearly the slickest. So it's already getting to the end, hitting down to the tape. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to leave that on there for this test, but we can clearly see slickest is the Merch. Second goes to the G-Technic. So I'm actually gonna take these two blocks off because we just don't need them on there. We can see the first and second results. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll just change over to the other camera and I'm going to just slightly lift bonnet so we should get a third fourth and fifth so yep as expected lithium in third so the Bowden's the Bowden's started moving afterwards but I've done this test about six times now off camera um, and you can see it actually it fell all the way off first so it is fourth place fifth place to the IGL. So yeah, there we go. That is the slickness test done. Um, I have, like I said, before filming, just so I had an idea, made sure it was consistent. It is easily from first to last. First place, Merch. Second place was the G-Technic. Third, Lithium. Fourth, Bowden's. Fifth, IGL. Now, to say some of these uh, you know, third, fourth, and fifth. I'm not saying they aren't slick. Um, if I was to sort of run my back of my finger over the untouched section that has just been polished, come over to IGL, that still feels super slick. Now, does it feel as slick as that merch, which was the slickest? No, it, this is noticeably slicker. So I can actually basically tell that that lithium, which came third, isn't quite as slick as that merch. That is just super slick. So if that's your main concern for a product, then that's gonna get extra points for you, I'm sure. Now, what I wanna do is, if you guys can remind me, because I may forget, in about every, let's say every four weeks, I'm going to redo the slickness test and see if it stays the same. Say this merch is the slickest at initial application and then after a month, it's the worst, then maybe that's gonna change its overall score. But for now, that's how we're gonna go with it. So yeah, slickest product, merch, and we'll move on to our water behavior and just see how good these all look when we apply water to it. Okay, so it's been about a week almost since I applied these products and I did actually do two coats on all products. Originally just did two coats on the IGL and the G-Technic as the direction said to do so, but after posting this up in a Facebook group and reaching out to the manufacturers, all have said a second layer on the middle three, so the Bowden's Lithium and the Merch, um, will only help add um, basically durability and yeah, it will not cause any issues. So they just don't recommend two layers because it's not definitely needed, but to keep it fair, all products have received a second layer. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse these down. So. So initially, I can see a little bit of a difference between some of them. So what I might do is just 
come in and just try and, not gonna be able to, but try and flood each section and watch how long it takes the water to run off. Now IGL, we're not even close to being able to flood it. The merch. Merch not looking quite as hydrophobic as the IGL, I'm gonna say, um, which surprised me because I, yeah, wasn't expecting that at all, but go over to the lithium. So let's just go between the lithium and the merch. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a difference between those two. Let's get my hose to come past. The Bowden's own. That one, as I know, is super hydrophobic. And lastly, the G Technic. So, I mean, I'm going to say the G Technic also not as hydrophobic it's sort of noticeably a little bit different. So yeah, there we go. I'll just move my way all the way across. I'm gonna say definitely the Bowdens, Lithium and IGL are the standouts there. Okay, so there's a little bit of water left on there, but it should be fine. We're gonna go over with the hose in the mist function and just go over all of the different products. Let's try and get an idea of the beads. So that should be plenty. Now what I'll do, it's gonna come in with the other camera. So this here is the IGL. As you can see, as you'd expect from a just applied coating, really nice. Basically going to say that at this stage, there isn't a difference just looking over them now, but this is the merch. So yeah, comparing it to that tape line there, you can see just how nice these beads are. So as expected, like I said, these have just been applied, haven't even, you know, first time water's touching them. Um, next up, the lithium. So I've got really small, tight beads and all these. I probably could have sprayed a little bit more water and got some larger beads going, but at this stage, I'm gonna say there's no real difference. They're all, all looking really nice. But one way I usually am able to see some slight differences, and especially going off the sheeting sort of test we did there, if I get the hose and just sort of hold the misting on, and look at the way the water reacts as it hits, so you can see this IGL, super hydrophobic, running off with beads, and then when we let go of the water, it instantly disappears. So that's our, that's what we're expecting from all of them. Anderson, look at the larger beads there. So now I'm thinking after looking at the way the Merch and the, uh, the G Technic didn't seem as hydrophobic, I'm thinking when we do this test here, when we let go, you can already tell it's just not quite as hydrophobic. The water isn't running off in the large beads like it was. Now when we let go, the water is instantly disappearing. There's no issues there, but, there is a difference there. Look at the way that, that water behavior there, compared to that, not quite the same. We'll move over to lithium. Lithium's in the middle for sure. It's running off with those really nice beads. When we let go, that water is instantly gone. So yeah, I mean, this is super impressive. The Bead King is as well. And I say it's not quite to the levels of that IGL. That IGL is really impressive. Uh, coming over to the Bowdens. So the Bowdens and the Lithium and the IGL are all definitely looking the greatest. And when we let go of the water here, it instantly disappears. So I'm gonna say IGL is probably looking the most hydrophobic. 
but yeah, this, I mean, this balance is not, I don't even know, probably about the same really. I'm gonna say the, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna really call one of these a winner, but um, coming over to the G-Technic, also super hydrophobic, but just don't know if it's quite at the level of that. Yeah, it's not, so. Um, yeah, there we go. That is interesting to see. Um, yeah, I feel like the Merch and the G-Technic are just not quite as hydrophobic. I'm gonna say, yeah, it's hard to call it, but maybe, so most hydrophobic, hydrophobic from the start is the IGL, so we'll see how that, um, you know, how it goes on over the coming weeks. The Bowdens and the Lithium are pretty much even. Maybe the Bowdens a slight edge. But yeah. It's too close to call really, but yeah, very impressed from IGL, Lithium and Bowdens. G Technic and Merch, still looking great, but they just clearly when you compare them all like this back to back, not quite as hydrophobic. And just one more time if we go over the beads. Now when I say they're not quite as hydrophobic, they're still super hydrophobic. So look at these beads on the G Technic. You can't really get any better than that. They are very propped up, super round, tight beads. When you come over to the Bowdens, you can't really see any difference. Lithium, the Merch, really once it's beaded up, there's no real difference in the IGL. So yeah, here we go. Hopefully this video wasn't too long, but that's a little bit to cover in the first, in the first application and in the first rinse and slickness test. So I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, let me know if the lighting was okay here. I did, try not to blind you guys, did put an extra light there facing down onto the onto the panel. Got the light on here for the camera. And yeah, there is soon to be, I just really need to sort my lights out in this garage. I've only got the one light so far and then I've just chucked a bunch of lights on the shelves and yeah, it's not ideal, but I will get some lights put in here soon. It's a little bit of money that I need to spend on the house, so yeah, it'll, it'll happen. But for now, let me know if this lighting was all right, if you guys can see okay. Um, so yeah, that's the first rinse done. This panel is now going to be dried and I'm gonna put it outside. And one week from now, we'll do our first official wash test. So hopefully you guys are keen for this series. Um, these cost me a bit of money, so if, hopefully you guys do enjoy them. Let me know if you do, as I'd hate to just be feel like I'm wasting my money and no one really cares. I like making them, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying watching them too. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not already, and yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Until next week, I will catch you guys later.